when you're out there, you're not really thinking about back home. You want to get home, but you can't think about that when you're in the field. You got to fight for your brothers on your right and your left. So that's, I mean, we had a job to do, so just do our job. No matter what happens, the guy to my left and right is going to be there no matter what. The White House and Western allies struggle to contain ISIS. They include taking over more territory, requiring all Muslims to swear allegiance to the group and to continue waging a chilling propaganda war. The terrorist group has made their presence known in the country, carrying out several the largest was attacked by Taliban and the U.S. ETA. Little man, have you entered the building? Little man, are you in the hallway? Over. Wolf, ETA. Seconds. Little man. Are you in the hallway? Over. Target eliminated. Said the good witch of the north, so Dorothy closed her eyes and tapped the heels together of her ruby red slippers three times. There is no place like home. There is no place like home. There is no place like home. And with the twist of her wand, Dorothy was back home, safe, in her bed, with all her stuffed animals. That's not what it says. <laughs> it's time for bed, Goose. Will you read Edgar Allan Poe tomorrow? Only if your mommy says it's okay. She's gonna say no. Well, tough luck, said the woodchuck. I don't say that to you every time mommy tells you no. Mommy does say no a lot, doesn't she? Hmm. Can I have a cool nickname like you? What are you talking about? You got lots of cool nicknames. You got some of the coolest nicknames in the entire world. Kidwit. Munchkin, Pumpkin, Nugget, Angel Blue Eyes, Total Lamo. I want something more like Wolf Girl, the most awesomest superhero in the village. Dun dun dun! Wolf Girl. <laughs> you are so silly. Mommy says she misses your handsome face. Mommy says that? Can I ask you a personal question? Mm-hmm. What's a dirty Mexican? Where did you hear that? School. Who? Kingston. What did Kingston say? That I was a dirty Mexican. 
Well, your mom's a Mexican. Um, got some dirt on your cheek there. So, yep, you're a dirty Mexican. But now you're a clean Mexican. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. Eskimos. Daddy? I don't ever want you to go away and never come back home to me and Mommy. I won't. This is a magic dragon. It'll keep you safe. All right? Thank you, Daddy. Dios mío, eres más lento que un muerto. All right, Speedy Gonzalez. Brush. I brush my teeth for a second time to keep myself from falling asleep. I'm brushing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there any word on if you're heading out this week? I don't know. Hey, you know what Olivia asked me? Mm. What is a dirty Mexican? <laughs> Kingston. Can we wait to have this conversation until after? I think I have some unfinished business with you. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. I like that. Did you close Olivia's door? <laughs> no. Can we just keep it open? Ah. Uh. Oye, ¿cómo están las güeritas? No dice nada. No me las has tocado, ¿no? No. Sigue puro. Perfecto. Eh, chiquitas. Ay. Mira, mamita. Put your tongue aside so I can check you out. Little bit, mijita.
Sergio, they are there.
Wolfman is going for package. I'm with the United States Navy. I'm here to take you back to your mommy and daddy. a dream all right listen to my voice it's me it's your wife baby lieutenant at ease sailor where are we <sighs> you're at home now it's with me Vanessa I know who you are you were just having a nightmare baby where were you? In the jungle. And who were your teammates? Uh, Scorpion. Lucas? Lucas is fine. Mm. Who else was there? The starship. Um, Buckeye. Starship and Buckeye are not real. Who else was in your dream? Skid Row. Nope. They're not real. None of them. I know them so well. Only in your head. Rusty. You're just having some war trauma. The White Snake? White Snake? So, you were in Nicaragua? Yeah. Yeah, Nicaragua. We were all there. We died. Lucas? No, oh, your mission was successful. <laughs> baby, baby, I need you to breathe, okay? Listen to me. You all made it. <laughs> Lieutenant Pope, and Little Man, Rooster, Casper, Sonny. Lucas called you yesterday. <laughs> Baby, look at your phone. Is Daddy okay? Well, yeah, sweetie. Daddy was just having a nightmare, okay? Go back to bed. I'll be there in a second. Okay. I love you, Daddy. Check your messages. Wolfie! Hey, Russ. Sorry I forgot to call you yesterday. 
me and baby girl took the boat out sailing, and we just ended up hanging out at sea, and I couldn't get back with you. No cell service, dude. But if you're free later today, hey, let's grab a beer, or uh, we can roll together some off the swim party. Love to Vanessa and Little Blue Eyes, man. Slay is out! See? I need to call him. Lucas? Rusty. Hey, man, how you doing? Doing, doing alright, man. I'm sleeping. How you doing, bro? I'm doing pretty good. I just wanted to know if you're going to the twins' party tomorrow. Yeah, man, uh, we'll definitely be there. Definitely. Cool, man. Hey. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to check in on you, bud. Copy that. See you tomorrow, Lucas. You got it. Amen. I got you. See you, Lucas. We'll talk to you later, man. You got it, bro. Bye. Bye. You all made it. What about the little girl with the blonde hair? I don't know who she is. I hate you. Hey, kiddo. Hey. You got Pandy, huh? Yeah. How's Pandy doing? He's doing good. Yeah? How you doing, Pandy? Oh, you know, I just like to get tickled. Do it, tickle him. Tickle Pandy. <laughs> there you go, tickle Pandy. <laughs> I'll fix it. I don't think it's broken. You don't, huh? Yeah. How bad? A level 10. Monster in it? 
what color? Green. I'm sorry. You know what I do when I have a nightmare with a monster in it? Hey! I told you just a quick kiss and a hug. Get your butt back in bed. Let's see you've got all. I love you. Love you more. Hey, she gives a mess, right? Hey. Bye. Bye. You okay? Yeah. Let's go to bed. I'll be there in a minute. Will you please say something for little Hammy? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, dear, dear Lord, thank you for giving us Hammy. It was quite a champion. Uh, live the good life. Bless your soul, Hammy. Thank you. Amen. It's okay, Daddy. You can cry. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes adults cry. Is heaven different for everyone? Yeah, I think so. What about our souls? Do our souls go to heaven? I believe so. Do you think sometimes souls get lost between here and heaven? I, I think sometimes souls stay behind to watch over us and make sure that we're okay. You're talking about little Hammy? Papa? Olivia, I need you to get in the car right now, young lady. Rusty, you didn't fix the light. Is Daddy in trouble? He was with me and Hammy. He's going to be if you guys don't get your butts in this car right now. Thank you, young lady. Si no se montan en el carro ahora. Lieutenant James Rusty Wittenberg. The light. You have until the count of three. Uno. Dos. Dos. Dos y medio. Vamos, carajo. I'm calling Eric. Excuse me? Oh, come on. He's a professional electrician. He's a professional electrician that wants to, uh... Yeah, Eric is an electrician that wants to take Daddy's place. High school sweetheart. Stop! He would love to be back in the picture. That's ridiculous. Just give me one more week, and I'll fix it. Honest to God. It's become a personal thing for me. One week. Hmm? One. One week. I'm giving you until next Saturday. But if I see that light flicker one more time, I don't care. It doesn't have to be Eric. But we need to hire a professional electrician who knows how to handle fixing a short. Yeah, I can fix a short. One week. It's something wacky with the wiring. Una semana. Ooh, mamá es enseñando papá quién es jefe. I can do it. There's the wolf pack. Oh, hi, Casper. Hey there, little buddy. Hi. Where you been? At 
the grade working on a science project. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just here to drop off presents. Baker's BFF's getting married, and she's a bridesmaid. I have no choice in the matter, so I'll be leaving her on from the sidelines. Well, you're a sweetheart. This one probably would have left me hanging. Hey, we're both home. Mm-hmm. Hey, little slugger! Hi, Uncle Little Man. Bye, Uncle Little Man. <laughs> Cuidado con el vestido. No te preocupas. Hmm, I wonder which one of you she takes after. <gasps> Here, hold him, he's sleeping. What no. a face. He's 15 pounds already. You ain't kidding. They grow like a weed. Shh. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to stay long. I'm sorry. Young wife's the boss. <laughs> hey, baby. Come here. I promised I'd work in the kitchen. I think she likes me. I think she does. Oh, mother, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Vanessa, you look like a Spanish <laughs> rose in bloom in Texas and a baby! It's a baby! <gasps> Come on, we gotta show everyone. <gasps> look at you. And you're wearing heels, too. She is a good thing, huh? She's probably getting you already. <laughs> that is unfair. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Rossi. Hi, girls. Say cheese to our new spy cam recorder. Uh. Happy birthday, Ash. Happy birthday, Renee. Our dad got it for us. Right on. Say something cool. How's the party? That's lame. Show him. No. Did you know the thing is like a million pixels and has a panoramic view? Right on. All right, we'll show you, but you gotta promise you don't tell our dad. Scout's on her. She filmed it. I'm gonna sell for distribution online. It's Rooster. Hey, you know what? You uh, promised! Wolf, wolf, wolf! <laughs> wolf man! Slash looks good. Hey, Daddy. -o. What's up, Chad? Hey, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah, cool. What's up? Hey, you saw it from last night? Yep. Bad moment. How'd I get it this time, head or chest? Both. You've been having a lot of those lately. Remember that time back in high school, that Jeffrey Hayden incident? Yeah, you're going way back. That bully, pickup game, two-hand touch football. He cheap shot at me, and you walked over, you picked him up, you slammed him on that fence and broke his arm. I did that? Yeah, you did. You had my back. You were gonna get suspended, but who took the blame? You took the blame. Who's got your back? You've... You've got my back. Nothing has changed. I had your back then, I've got your back now. I think you need to see a professional. Make the call next week. You're my best friend, Rusty. One is none, two is one. I'll go and give LT some love before he overcooks my steak for hogging you. I'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> I 
I'm not making it well done. It is not American. Yeah, it's but I'm not going to have stuff running around the plate over there for the people either. It's going to taste like jerky. It's going to be all... <laughs> hey, we're almost done with the food. Uh, uh, medium for you and, and rare for Vanessa? Medium for Vanessa. Okay. And I know Olivia's going through that picky stage, so I got us some macaroni. That, that sounds about right. <laughs> so glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you need anything, you can just holler. Ma! What? <laughs> Carol's got entirely too much energy. Uh, how you doing, bro? I'm doing okay, man. Olivia's looking like a mom. Yeah, and the twins are taking after their dad. <laughs> yeah, they're growing up way too fast, brother. Tell them wants another set. Hey, you know that uh, that little recorder you got them? She's pregnant. Darla? Of course, Darla. Who the hell do you think I'm talking about? And she's hoping for another set. That would keep you young. Yeah, sure, I hope so. Anyone else know? No, just you. We're gonna wait till after the first trimester. Uh, after what happened last time, uh, I think over too well. Yeah, no, I get you. Well, uh, here's to another set. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> Go in there, get some snacks. Steak's almost ready. Cool, be right in. Grazie. It was exactly like that. No, I don't think so. Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> Believe me, I know. It was right before we hit Costa Rica. And your dad may have been toasted and rosy, but that night after the brawl, that's when he said it. And pardon my French, but the toughest son of a bitch there ever was. Even tougher than Top Dog. <laughs> but he certainly said it. Hmm. You guys keep staring at us, huh? We got him. <laughs> Looks like your boy needs a bailout. <laughs> My boy could handle himself. <laughs> With me. I'll get another. You want one, young lady? Dad, you've had enough, okay? Um, I would love one. Got it. Your dad's a gentleman. You need to stop that. It's my property, dickweed. I apologize. I'm married, as you can see. That thing don't mean shit. What the fuck are you doing in a place like this? It does to me. To us, it don't. No, I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you've done it. Do you know who I am? No, I've never seen you before in my life. I'm fucking Deacon. No, nope, never heard of you. <laughs> Funny. This is my pack. No trouble. We're leaving. Dad. for a second. This is my boy. Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. He's a great A son of a bitch. He's done three tours for this country. That's the United States of America. In case you shit for brains don't realize it, we're all on the same side. And this is his brother. Same goes for this man. Blood runs thick in our family. And if you boys feel like two-stepping, and God, I hope you do, Let's not waste any more time. We'll rest in peace, but we're dead. It's three against ten. Oh. No. Anyone takes another step, I pop this bone out and I feed it to him. <coughs> get back, get the fuck back. Dad, dad, dad. Let go of Hank. Hank! Your name's Hank? You look more like a princess to me. We're cool. We're cool. Let him go. Hey, wait. That's my boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dad, you're drunk. Get him out of here. Good idea. Let's go, Jack, John. Those guys are a joke. Stop. Come here. Son, I love you. I love you too, Dad. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Wittenberg!
Oh my god, no way. Yes way. Mr. Wittenberg ran right up to that first Harley Sportster 883. Stroke or no stroke, before we could do anything, the tip of his boot was pushing off. But he told you that night, Rusty. I love you. Oh my god, that is a lovely story. Your dad was badass, Wolf. Stroke and all. Here's to Mr. Wittenberg. Mr. Wittenberg! Mr. Wittenberg. <laughs> See you, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about all that Momo Jumbo out there. We'll get him back. Make sure he gets home, please. We're all coming home, okay? I'll call you tonight, and you can stay whenever you need. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, hey. You okay? I just need to think of something. You all right? Where are you going? I don't know. Honestly. It could be something as simple as Syria. You know what? As many times as I've been through this, I never get used to it. I know. Oh, don't give me that fake smile. All right, get over here. Listen to me. I am not leaving you. I'm gonna go do my nine to five, get in the train, come home to you guys. Come home to the family, to the new family. Hey, I love you. I love you too. to blend in? Be one of them? I don't know. Honey? I don't want to talk about it. Babe. I don't. sad because you have to go to work again, huh? Yeah. Hey, go give Mommy a big hug and tickle her for me, okay? Okay. Daddy? Hmm? Never mind. I need you to take care of Mommy when I'm gone, okay? Okay. I'll only be gone a couple days. Promise. You're forgetting something. Babe. 
you go. Now your promise is sealed. I love you, Daddy. Hey. Now you go take care of Mommy, okay? I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. I'm coming back. I'm not going to miss this. But what if something happens that you can't control? I'm coming back, and that's all I know. All right. All right. Hey, you trust me? You trust me? I fucking love you. I've been gone too long. What kind of excuse is that? I know I've been gone too long. We need to drag it up. Let her the fuck go right now, Sonny. Let her go. Clear this. Clear this. Are we good? Are we good? That's sunny. What's the verdict, Pope? Surprise us and tell us we're going after someone other than the sand niggers. Love it when you talk dirty to me. I gather around and shut the fuck up. Now, they're gonna fill you in more, but basically four of our Delta operatives went dark after they crossed into Iranian territory. And that's all I know. Search and rescue? That's all I know. Gentlemen. Senior. Slayers. Your objective? A special reconnaissance. Counter-terrorist operation. This mission will be called name Gold Quilt. Major Boggs. Senior. 58 hours ago, a four-man Delta unit was dropped off in the Farah province on a recon and surveillance mission that would maneuver across the Iranian border. We have intel that several high-value targets from multiple terrorist factions are collaborating and supporting a rapidly growing ISIS element new to the area. We believe that they are utilizing this location in Iran to develop biochemical weapons. Not gonna lie, guys. Comms have been giving us a fucking headache. Six hours into the op, we lost all contact. It's imperative that we get eyes on the ground down there immediately. Sonny, you're the best we have. Be prepared. Recent intel tells us the Iranians are conducting solid Miji operations against our communications hardware. Copy that. Senior? I see knows the Miji component, and they're working quick to counter. A satellite imagery shows the mine to be abundant during daylight. However, there has been vehicle drop-offs and runs at night. Activities has picked up, which is of grave concern. A signet also suggests there is an underground facility. We need to know every single thing about this location. 
Entry points, none road, wind direction. You'll be working under extremely diverse terrain. Weather pattern has been unpredictable. Questions, speak up. Lieutenant. What about QRF? No QRF. Is that even possible? It is. You'll be dropped over here at an Afghani territory. This is as far as air support can go. United States has no air jurisdiction. So when you pass over the Iranian border, you are on your own. Again, we may not have comms. Sink your calm down, don't miss your window. Senior, do we have any type of overhead or pattern analysis by night on vehicles or personnel? Nothing substantial. Armed guards being on rotation. How many? Can't tell. They're all in hooded, they look the same. We do not have high level surveillance due to no fly zone. That's one detail we need to find out. There are red flags popping up all over the place on this one. We were lucky to discover it when we did. Do not mistake its vacant appearance. We believe it may be a hive. Rusty. So nothing on the Delta operators? I'm afraid not. Your objective is detail reconnaissance. Don't be compromised. We need you to snoop and poop. Rusty. So we're not just in the two of us? Yeah. No can do. As you can see, too much ground to cover. We need you to split up. We need you in and out, 12 hours. We're going to set you up with a Wi-Fi system. Your intel will come back encrypted. Team leader will designate as needed and conduct a full conop prior to insert. You need to fill multiple roles. Anything else? You leave in 45. Slayers, kick ass. Got us what we need. Godspeed, fair win. Have a good mission, men. Stu, how's your new addition? He's amazing. Thanks for asking, Janet. Cheer up. It's kind of messed up we wouldn't be addressing the Delta team. Not gonna lie, I thought the same thing. No air assets? Senior Chief has cut up a crust shitting down his neck. That means he's gonna shit down ours. This is not a search and rescue mission. CBNRE takes priority. The mission takes priority over everything. So quit your bitching. All right. Gold quilt. Okay, phase one insert is burnt, 2300. Now, Scorpion, congrats. Your assistant team lead and point at this. Don't forget your Bible. I won't, sir. Now, I'm second in meds. And since we don't have any breaches on this, Casper and Rooster, you're gonna take the rear. Now, we're gonna move west along this tree line here until we get to the rally point. That's phase two, Kermit. And Sonny, you're designated RTO in this because uh, you're the best we got. That's what Darla said. Oh! Sonny side up! Seriously, you heard them. Something is giving comms a headache. So when you get there, get all our comms tethered. Make sure all of our radios, including our whispers, are synced and encrypted in the latest freaks. We're already foobar with this no-fly zone shit. Naked as fuck. Good? Good. Now, Casper and Scorpion, you can remain back here with Sonny. Sit tight and stay alert. Now, little man and rooster, you guys are blue overwatch. You're gonna come up here and nest in right over here. God, I love you, sir. Okay, now, Wolf and I are gonna be green, heading northeast here. We're gonna nest in right about there. We're gonna be in these positions for a while, so get me everything. Detail, detail, detail. Don't be lazy. They gave us this one for a reason. Make us look good. Xville will be 0930. This will be phase four Cookie Monster. Now relay back to the rally point, and then we're gonna head for home base. Phase five, Ernie, 1100, which is also our drop dead time. Now, if you guys missed that one, you might as well get a green card, because it's gonna be staying a fucking while. You're the most loyal, toughest sons of bitches I ever met. It is an honor to roll with you. 
All right, Slayers. We'll be moving quickly. Get your desert dragon skins on, cowboy up, and let's jam. You've got 20 Mike, and we're off to the land of the great Pashtun. Let's do it. Move out. Here we go. Let's do this, guys. Secure the perimeter, ABCs. We're gonna stay a single unit so we're about two and a half miles out in Kermit. Drop dead at 1100, so don't be late. Let's go home in one piece, Slayers. This is Rally Kermit. Sonny, hook up comms. Stay dark. Do not break radio silence until you hit your POS. 0930, start getting your asses back here. We'll make our way to extraction point. Copy. Sonny, you good with comms? I'm on it. Good. If you were compromised, pass Taylor Swift. Stay frosty. I don't see one single goat fucker out there. Nothing but sand and dust. I know you. They don't like strangers. I tried to tell them about you. They don't seem to care. Who's they? 
the wickets, and the scurries. Who's the... Little girl? Little girl! Huh. What's a blue jay doing out here? Well, as long as he keeps singing, I'll be all right. You know, she's never seen the northern lights. Well, it's time to take her, then. Yeah. She's always wanted to do that. Mike's. Copy that. Twenty. What? I was thinking about your Pavarotti bird story. <clears throat> Have you heard the song of the mockingbird? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's it. Little mockingbird sat in my windowsill. It's about 10 years old. Every day, he'd start singing at dawn, wake my ass up. And they have just this incredible data pool. I mean, they remember everything that they hear day after day until they die. I mean, everything car horns, buses. Melodies from other birds. I, mean, I should you not. If this thing heard a piano concerto, he could spit it back at you note by note, perfectly. I mean, they, they mimic anything and everything. So he'd wake me up every day. And uh, what I would do, I'd count his different noises, kind of like counting sheep, you know. So I'd fall back asleep. This one day, I swear to God, he did over a hundred different noises. It was amazing. And a fucking pop Roddy bird. And, uh, fell back asleep. About a week later, uh, woke me up. I counted, fell asleep. Next thing you know, uh, sound of a 22 wakes me up. Neighbor fucking shot him. You know what the moral of the story is? Always go out doing something that you love. Pavarotti bird. Pavarotti bird. Castle reaching departure time over. Castle reaching departure time over. We definitely got some interference. We're being jammed. Smooth. Just how I like it. Gotta trust, Sonny. Not in the sunshine yet. Well, this will keep the clouds away. Almost game time. Mmm. Breakfast of champions. Better save some of that for the ride home. That's a wrap, Wolf. Let's go home. I like the sound of that. Kermit Green, over. Do 
Easy breezy. Nice and cheesy. Oh, shit. What do you got? Seven hostels, two hostages. Execution squad, just what I wanted. Are those our boys? Uh, stand by. Hostiles are armed with AK-47s and secondaries. We got a tripod and recorder, and two machetes. Waiting on confirmation. Gotta give us something. Come on, baby. Looks like they came in that rock formation. Right there. Chapman. We're running out of time. Lieutenant Blake Chapman, what have you gotten yourself into? Something's off. We'd be expecting a rescue. Using us as bait. I'd already know we're here. I'm thinking the exact same thing. If we touch anything down there, we're compromised. It's a perfect trap. We got what we came for. We're running out of time. No. No. How do we justify that? Huh? This is somebody's kids. We're frogmen, sir. Good wolf. Taylor Swift. I say again, Taylor Swift, Slayers. Change your plans. We are on the fly. Bring it to the PID on one of our Delta operators. We are on a rescue. Blue hole tight in Oscar. Storm being Casper. I need to prepare to be pivot. Sam, hell. Fucking A. Roger that. Let's move. Courtesy 6, this is Avalanche. Taylor Swift. I repeat, Taylor Swift. We have PID on one of our Delta operators. We are shifting to rescue. Over. Casper, meet you at pivot point. Scorpion, over. Position over there, cover my ass. I'm going in with you. No, keep your battle at a distance. Watch my ass. Oh! Green is at pivot. Hope is moving in fast. Little man, stand by to engage. Over. Scorpion, what's your pause? Little man is taking tango with machete on hostage, closest to my pause. Engage targets at the end of my countdown on zero. Over. What the fuck's happening? The Huggies are about to get pissed. Copy, Little. I got Tango on your two. On your trigger. Over. I know you're there. Why are you playing games? You like hide and seek. What's your purpose? What's your purpose? You left your flower. I picked them for you. Each one. Now they're all dead. Your friends are back. Wouldn't call them friends. If you knew what they wanted from you, they don't like you. 
I don't like them. Take that silly thing off. Who is Vanessa? What's this soul taker? How many souls have you taken? I said take, take it off. off. I heard you. You don't know who I am, do you? Take it off. Take it off for me. Sorry about the flowers. Don't make them go away. The wicked and the scurries? I can't. Then what can you do? Sheesh. Lighten up. I just want to play with you. Listen, I don't have much time. I need to get home. Will you help me with that? I'm not allowed to say. Tell me why I'm here. What are we running from? Not we. You. You're the one running. Seal Team 3, we're gonna get you home. I think they got. Okay. Uh, I can't see anything. They're blinding me. They fucked us up, man. Where's Griego? Hey, listen, Griego's gone. Okay, can you run? I can try. Okay, listen, we gotta go. Hang on to my vest. <laughs> Scorpion, where the fuck are you? 
Frog Man, you okay? Wolf. Two sons of bitches blinded him. Lieutenant Chapman, I'm Wolf and part of your rescue. Thank you. What's the. Hope is down, uh, Westerly coordinates A5, A6, A7, Sunny, you copy, over. Uh, uh, What's happening? Uh, oh, nothing's oh. happening. Make sure she sees the door the lights. Uh, you're gonna take your Hope. Uh, What's happening? <laughs> nothing. Uh, God damn it, here. Uh, Put pressure on there. Uh, Westerly coordinates A5, A6, A7, Sunny, come in. God damn it, Pope, hang in there, buddy. You get his heels on American soil. Good wolf. God damn it, Pope. Hold that fucking. Come on! Wake the fuck up, man! Is he come dead? on! Do no. something! What can no, I do? Do right. something! Right. Fuck back to me, fucking Pope. Come on, buddy! Pope! Is he gone? Can you help him? Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Come on. Hope. Hope! Hope! Chap. Golden. Chap, we need a miracle. Well, I'm praying. Lucas? Scorpion, I read you. Do you copy? Over. Scorpion, Blue is moving to Kermit. Do you copy? Over. I say again. Blue is moving to Kermit. Over. Scorpion, do you copy? Oh. What's wrong? Oh, we're at gunpoint. What can I do? Stay put? I can distract them. I don't know. Just, just stay put. Still with me? I'm still here. But we gotta go. Gone. Hope's gone. This is Lieutenant Blake Chapman. The fuckers blinded him. Hope wants his heels back on American soil, so that's what we're gonna do. Lieutenant Chapman, I'm Casper. Welcome to Dragon Slayers. I'm fucking indebted. LT, you're with the best frogmen on the whole planet. We'll get you home safe. I'm Sonny. It's a fucking honor. All right, if you three get to the extraction zone, I'll cover the rear. Sonny, get Blue Team and Scorpion on comms. Negative, Wolf. No comms. There's no fucking comms. No negative on the bird. Nothing but drop dead time. Coming fast. All right, initiate E&E. &E. Sonny, take lead.
I'm a World War II fighter, Ace! Who am I? You can be me! I want to be somebody cool. <laughs> Mayday! Mayday, we're coming in on a crash landing. <sighs> They got me. They really got me this time. We lost bogey one on radar. I think it's time for it out of the air. Roger, Dodger. What a world. How was that? Why, hmm. I give you C minus, my gallant knight. Wow. No, I thought at least uh, a B. You thought wrong. You're all dirty. And yes, I am a tough critic. <laughs> <laughs> you still don't remember me, do you? What are you going to bring for show and tell Friday? Stay here. Wait, please don't leave me. It's still 25 mics to the extraction point. About a mile away. All right, I'm gonna hold up there until we're about 15 minutes out. Copy that. Scorpion view, copy, over. I say again, Scorpion view, copy, over. Scorpion's gone dark. All right, this hill is all we got, guys. Casper, take our six. Copy. Casper, stay alive. Copy. Let me take a look at you. First thing they did Stripped some kind of acid in my eyes. The fucking bastards made me listen to him tear his part, my team leader. But he took it like a fucking Delta. Didn't say a word. What was Pope's first name? Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, I like that, Jerry. I can see his face. He's a handsome motherfucker. He was. What's your first name? Wolf. Your real name? I'll tell you when we get home. My wife and son will be really eager to meet all of you. Thank you. Welcome, man. I want you to lay on your belly and stay low, all right? Do you have an extra gun? Just in case, you know. You got three rounds. Make them count. Three magic beans. Still got 20 mics before extraction. We're about a mile out. Until we tore about six. We'll hit a uh, drop dead. Brother, I ain't got no more arrows in the quiver. 
I'm out. All right. Scorpion? Scorpion? He's out there. Little man? Rooster? I haven't heard from him. You think they're dark? No. God damn it. Don't be sorry. A little less out. I'm sorry I hit you. Let me learn more. I'm in love with her. I don't think she cares about me. It's all good. Let's get out of here. No, no, no. Yeah. Fix it with her when you get home. Casper. Casper, come in. God damn it, Casper. Shit, okay. Nothing touches him. Come on, son. Good to see you. You look like shit. So do you. I'm gonna give you an EpiPen. Hold on. You got your intel? <clears throat> you like that? You got your intel? Yeah. How about that? We're at 100%. How do you like them apples? Good job. Little man and rooster. Expired. How bad are you? What are you talking about? Frogmen don't die. Right. You keep those and catch up with Sonny mm. and the unit boy at extraction point. Hope the boy made it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right on. All right, uh, so get your ass up there. I'm gonna give Casper some support. All right. Casper, come in for support. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm getting out of this shit. Here, LT. Let's get this on you. No. No, yeah. you need that. No, no, you need it. Sonny, you need this. Not where I'm going. You put this on. 
You're going home. So are you, so are you, Sonny. You're coming too. I'll be there. Okay. LP, when you hear that chopper, you get on it. That's your ride home. You're gonna make it? Have some faith. Son? Sonny! Hey! Hey, you don't have your you don't have my permission to leave me, you hear? You hear me? That chopper's coming. You told me to have faith, that chopper's coming, you're getting on it. Come on, Sonny! Don't leave me! Come on. None. Two is one. Come on, Flair. Rusty, I waited for you like I said I would, but it's okay. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? You know. Who are you? You got old, Rusty. No pun intended. You never came back to say goodbye like you promised. But it's okay. I know you were scared. I was too. Ryan? Rusty, schmusty, gusty. Right. Took you long enough. You were my best friend. We were soulmates. You always were a silly boy. You had me at goodbye. Can I ask how long it's been? You don't know? It's been about 30 years. Doesn't seem like it, huh? Guess that's why they say, where does time fly? None of them have been easy. You didn't miss much. I missed you. I missed you, Rusty. Is there anything I can do? You can free yourself of the weight you've carried your whole life for not coming to see me. What do I do? It's easy. You're the one that's been watching me my whole life. What happens when 
happens when I cross that line? Everything and nothing. I must look like the saddest little girl in the entire world. Olivia, baby, what are you talking about? Mommy, I promise I saw him. He was with a white, beautiful angel. She was carrying another man. Olivia, sweetie, you're being silly, okay? We don't joke about this. But I'm not kidding. Baby, you understand that daddy's at work, right? Yeah? And that means that he's just in a different country. No, he's right outside. Honey, all right, we can't joke about I'm this. I'm not joking. I'm serious. He's outside. And you're just tired? Let's go to bed. Let's go. Go.
I can find my way 